According to the World Economic Forum, 65% of the jobs of the future are not even created yet. Which sounds exciting, but iCode CEO Abid Abedi states that by 2030 there will also be a global shortage of 85 million people with technical talent. We have a massive crisis. The problem looks to be a simple one of supply and demand, but iCode says it's more than that. Here's the issue. A number of college graduates who are paying off student debt are entering the workforce, which is great. But guess what? As most people find out, you end up having to learn or relearn a number of skills on the job, which Abedi says is inefficient. When they graduate from iCode, they are more productive to an employer than a four-year computer science degree graduate. So by kids sort of going through this program, after high school, they could straight away get a job. Thus bypassing the student loan problem and bringing in new talent four years ahead of the game. They want to go to college and get a degree. They could certainly do that in the evening uh, on the weekends. Either they will make enough money to pay the fees or the employer can subsidize or pay for their fees. It's essentially the trade school of today, says Abedi. So alongside plumbers and electricians, you now also have coders and programmers. If, if you have a computer science background or, or can do coding and programming or cybersecurity, uh, network, you know, these, these are high paying jobs. Leaving no reason to not get started right away. So this is having a massive impact today. When it comes to 2020 or 2030, it's going to become even a lot more than where it is today, unless we figure out in the U.S. how to teach kids from an early age, you know, the language of tomorrow, which is coding. For Real News, I'm Cash Payne.